Hey, small groups, we are in the last week of our commit series, and we saved the the most fun <laughs> topic, most fun, the easiest topic to talk about, uh, um, about the most that. comfortable <laughs> for last. We're talking about that commitment to give and why that matters. And listen, this is, is hard because so many people have good reason to be cynical about church and money, right? Maybe they've had past hurts right. or they've read a newspaper article, and sadly, there's a lot of that out there, man. And so... One of the aspects of the message today that I loved was the way that you pointed to Scripture saying that, look, it's not really about your money. It's really about your heart, right? Where the heart is, there your treasure is also. And the reason that money is so important isn't because it buys stuff, but it's one of the best indicators of our hearts out there, right? I I don't spend money on stuff I hate. You know what I mean? Not my extra money, like bills, all that, whatever. I don't spend money on stuff I hate. So... My question for you is you said that you've really moved drastically into obedience with your money because for a long time you weren't where you were supposed to be. And so one of the ways that we're going to dig into money this week is to talk about our hearts. Um, In your heart, what did it reveal about your heart? What did you learn about maybe idols, strongholds? um, Where was your heart jacked up? It's a fun question to answer. Where was your heart jacked up with money? What did you learn about that as you processed what it looked like to tithe and let go? Yeah. <clears throat> um, well, I think I'm still learning because yeah. um, it's and we've had tons of discussion just of like because something will break or go bad. And even if you've got the money, you're like, oh, and there's yeah. something about it that, you know, Steph and I've had a lot of conversations along the way when something happens, like she'll be like, well, the furnace this or that or whatever. And it will like it'll just melt me down now more in the past than it does now. Yeah. And she's like, what what is it with you? So she's asked the same question. I think with me, um, when I peel it all back. Um, it becomes like this huge trust issue yeah, yeah. of like, um, well, who do I really trust or not trust? And I don't know if how true it is for other people, but um, for me, if I'm not careful, I can feel like I, I win or lose based on if I have enough money saved up or if I've got this or if this doesn't break and I can take care of it. But when I'm, and I've had stuff happen where I'm like, I have this big need and I don't have enough money for it now. What's the deal? Because I've been tithing God and it's all about it's all about who do you trust, who do you trust. And so for me, it just revealed a lot of a lot of issues where I had to, to say to myself, man, I'm really trusting more in myself than I am in God. And so we actually started tithing. We were in, long story short, we were in um, a lot of debt, a lot of credit card debt early in our marriage. And when, I, when we twisted everything around, um, we started tithing <clears throat> while we were in debt which is like, what? That's kind of crazy. But what was revealing to me is that I had to say, God, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting that you're going to help me uh, along this way. But I'm I'm, I'm physically saying with my money, I'm trusting you. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to trust you. Then the other side of it is when stuff blows apart, I'm like, hey, God, um, hey, our car needs new tires. Like, God, you're in my car? That that car of yours that I'm driving needs new tires. And So for me, it's it's a lot of trust issues. And even when things come up now, because I think it was in me as a, as a younger guy, um, I have to sit, stop and say, no, wait a minute, who are you trusting in this? Is this, are you trusting in the Lord or are you, are you really trusting in money to take care of yeah. the problem? Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. And I think that's such a, a deep picture of this core part of your faith. It's about money, but it's not really about money. Yeah. It's about yeah. who do you trust? And yeah. I think a lot of people can relate to that. I was um, literally two nights ago laying in bed and I started thinking about retirement. I'm like, I'm doing math, which you know isn't ever good anyways when I'm trying to do math. And so um, I was like, man, okay, I got, what, 20 years, 30 years? What happens if, you know, is the church still going to want me to be a pastor when I'm 60? And how am I going to save up enough? And just down this rabbit hole. And through that, I came to this uh, kind of moment of like, wow, I don't actually trust God. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't actually believe that God wants what's best for me. Why? What is <laughs> yeah. it? What is it about God that I think he doesn't care about me? Yeah. Why, what, what baggage in my past, what did my parents teach me, what did whatever right. lens that you and I could both unpack here. Uh, I'm not going to make you do that. But, um, but yeah, I just had this moment where I was like, I'm worried that I'm not going to have enough. What am I going to do? Because right. God's not going to show up. Yeah. Why do I think God's not going to show up? I got there because money. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. why money matters. It's not it's not because you want to have a private jet, you know. Right. Um, and I think that's that's often why the Lord doesn't bless us is because if I had 
if I had a half mil in the bank, which I'm a long way away from, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, man, how much would I really trust the Lord? Because yeah. what could come up that I couldn't take care of with my money? And I think yeah. the Lord's, you go back to the psalmist, which says, you know, or like the, the prayer that says, give us today our daily bread. Mm-hmm. You know, God, you're going to give me enough for today. Yeah. When the psalmist talks about, um, uh, you make me lie down in green pastures, green pastures are actually come up for that day. Yeah. So the Lord's just saying, yeah. trust me for the day. And so that's where I have to be. Um, and say like, okay, God, this may not make sense here. These numbers may not do, but I am trusting you, and I'm physically showing that I trust you. But I'm returning to you this, and it's a it's a heart thing. And I would right. say, is it getting easier? I think it's getting more common. But just like I talked about today, we have those those cards that that we do every fall. So Steph and I'll sit down. We'll have the same conversation I have every fall. We'll put down a number, and I'll look at that number and go, oh my gosh, man! Not that it's because I'm not making millions, but right. I'm like that. I'm like yeah. I translate that into that's every month I could have a sweet new Harley Davidson for that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And Steph will look at me and go, "Well, we could not tithe." <laughs> and for a millisecond, I'm like, "Oh yeah," and I'm like, "No, uh, okay. no, no, no," because yeah. it's an issue of obedience. It's an issue when I talk about I walk around in Malachi chapter three, um, just the blessings of the Lord that He brings in on that. We're not obligating Him to do that, right. but He often does that. <clears throat> Uh, and it's like I want Christ to know, like, man, I do trust you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust that whatever comes up is not gonna be in the number on my bank account, or if I have a job or not, it's gonna be in you, and that's something I just have to walk in every day. Yeah. I think that's awesome. So as you guys talk about this in your groups and you really dig into this and get vulnerable with each other, what's hard about trusting God? Why, why do you believe that He's not? for you? Where, where do you feel like he hasn't shown up? And what does it look like as a community for us to remind each other about the faithfulness of God? And so I really hope that this is a week where you guys can crack into your hearts and just kind of let money be the crowbar, you know, that gets into some of those deeper issues. All right. Hey, I, I am praying for you guys. We love you guys. We're so happy that we're walking through this with you.